So today in Stormworks, we're checking out the weirdest creations ever. And folks, we have probably one of the best tsunami survival bunkers, creations that break the game. And stay tuned until the end because we have probably the best mech that also looks the silliest. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, it's about to get weird and I want to introduce you guys to probably the best tsunami bunker I've ever seen. Yes, that is a 2001 original Xbox and... This is like a mega survival bunker. Like, I've seen some obscure bunkers, but I've never seen a full-sized, well, a full-sized console would be small, but like a console that you can actually like walk into and it acts as a survival shelter. So it's got full working buttons. We have a power button here. Okay, the Xbox is turning on and then we have the eject button for the, uh-oh, I think the eject button might be stuck. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's for the CD. Why it has this? I don't know. It's like a full-blown working model, yet, yeah, survival bunker. All right, we should probably close that. We don't want any leaks. Uh, so here, let's go around to the side. I believe there is a uh, outer door here, and this is how I believe you're supposed to get in. So entrance, uh, if I click this. Oh, you can just climb in there. Actually, is it like a vehicle storage thing too? Hold on, stuck, use this door. Oh, Okay, so that's just like another uh, little entrance. All right, let's go ahead and close that. We'll go through the small door. Okay, so we got a pump here. I uh, probably want to have that activated. Uh, activate pumps. Is this for... Wait, could we put this in the water? This is totally like an airlock. Whoa, hold on. I feel like we might need to spawn this down in the water. Hold on, let's get some lights on real quick. Uh, not gonna lie, this looks like some sort of gamer cave that probably smells like Mountain Dew and moldy cheese, but... Uh, this is definitely something. You got a medic bay over here. Uh, you've got bedrooms. That's actually kind of cool looking. Uh, you've got a storage bay in here. So it looks like you could store a, uh, a vehicle in here. I don't know, maybe a controller. Do we have a flying controller somewhere? And yeah, it looks like you've got... Oh, this is for probably the generators and stuff. All right, so I'm assuming the Xbox is running right now. Uh, here's a fuel hatch. Probably don't want to have that open. Yeah, it's got everything that you could possibly need for survival. I do want to put this in the water here in a second, but it did say tsunami survival bunker. So let's go ahead and let's seal that door there. Uh, wait, do we actually, can we turn this on? We have a TV. Wait, so we can watch stuff. Oh, we have instruction keys. Wait, can we actually watch uh, uh, channels or something? I think that actually might be a thing. Uh, we'll just change it to the uh, the old camera here, and we're going to set on our uh, nice gamer couch, and we're going to get hit by a tsunami. By the way, I might have also spawned in a tornado just to test it out as a tornado shelter. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, being in a serious situation where everybody tells you, you got to get to the bunker, and then you walk up to the bunker, and it's a giant Xbox? I'm not going to lie. These things were massive in the first place. Okay, where's... Oh, here comes our tornado. Um, Is this attached? I think it is attached to the ground. Uh, I hope it is. Because, yeah, the tornado's here in the tsunami. I'm not sure which direction it's coming from. Tornado looks like it's going to be going away, but I, I think we're actually going to be safe here. All right, here it is. The tsunami is here. Is the Xbox going to actually stay on here? I really hope it's actually attached right now. Uh, if not, we might go up with the tsunami. As long as we don't die in here, I think this is a win. Uh, oh, no, it just stays right on the ground. Dude, that's insane. Hold on. Water's not getting into the little ports. Nope, I could hear... Oh, I heard like a magnet or something. Oh, I feel like we're moving right now. Hold on. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Okay. Well, I mean, that's something. Well, I do have another console. I don't think it's quite a survival bunker, but I think you guys are going to enjoy what it does. So our next creation is a Wii by the same creator, and uh, this one might be more like a weapon. Uh, wait, can I crawl up in here? Oh, I can. Uh, is this like a little maze? Um, okay. Oh, let's hop up in here. So I saw a screenshot of what this thing did, and I thought it was really unique. Yes, there's a reason they're giving you parachutes in here. So let's go and put that on there. Uh, <laughs> are we ready for this? Wait, it says drive the Wii. Um, okay. Uh, there's an eject button. I'm probably not going to want to hit that yet. So you got a raised cabin. Uh, that's one. Um, oh. Not sure this is something we want to do, but this is fine. So there's a vroom, a yeet, and an open... Actually, let's go ahead and close the little flap. Oh, that's for the... Uh... Oh, hello there. Kind of awkward. Uh, we got cabin lights and normal lights. All right, so the Wii is powered up right now. So let's go vroom. Yes, it's got rockets, and we got a yeet button. <laughs> Why? 
Why is this a thing? Okay, we probably want to eject. Hold on. Oh, it's spinning so fast. Eject button control is on and uh, parachute. Oh, okay. We slammed against the ground, but yeah, there's a, are we getting shot? Um, there might be Stormworks like AI that's trying to shoot us right now. But yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, what's the point? Um, I hope this thing's actually bulletproof. Hold on, let's go ahead and go hatch. Uh, <laughs> an awkward moment when you're getting shot at now. Yep, there's something shooting at us over there. Uh, so yeah, it's got a big parachute that actually, uh, you could parachute down in the Wii. I, I don't get the point of this, but this kind of brings us uh, to a creation we checked out the other day. So yeah, what inspired uh, this episode is the Nanonator. We actually played with this the other day, me and OB did. Now the thing with this is the whole fact that we didn't actually get to see what it did because uh, multiplayer crashed every time that we uh, played with this. So we're gonna do that here today and we're gonna hope that we go, uh, I guess to a new reality or something. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're gonna start this bad boy up. Enable systems, uh, enable black hole generator, and there's another systems. I don't know what that means. Uh, we want to start this, so, um, okay. Can I jump into this? Uh, do I have control of this? Oh, jeez. I don't think I have control of this in here, do I? So, yeah, obviously it's spinning me rapidly. <laughs> what the? Oh, I just I don't think that was the part of going into another dimension. Look at that thing, it's crazy, but yeah, you can destabilize it and I think it might eat the whole platform. Uh, there are lights going everywhere. Uh, the portal generator RPS is like pegged. Uh, oh, there's a camera. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go disable reality safeguards. Uh, yep, there you go. That's about what it did um, in multiplayer. And it's gone, so. The thing literally traveled somewhere. I don't know if it went to a new dimension, if it's like 20 miles in the sky right now. Like it would be hilarious if that thing were to come crashing down. Hold on, let's look around. Uh, then gets it's a mission, so I don't even know where the, like I can't track the vehicle. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're getting that back, but that's kind of what inspired today's episode. You know what I could do? What if I reset the mission, but I have God mode on? So that should be a thing, right? We should be able to like actually survive the time jump here and see where this thing actually goes. Uh, I want to be in a seat when this happens. All right, let's go power on. Uh, let's set this off again. Okay, it is starting up. We have God mode on, so in theory we can survive. Uh, we stuck poor OB in that. Okay, here we go. Let's go disable that and disable portal stabilization now. Uh, what's gonna happen? We shouldn't... What? Wait. It, it worked. Okay, so we, we survived. Where I hear on. <gasps> Am I gonna beat Jesus? Wait. What? Is this heaven? Where are we? Hold on, can we track us on the map? Huh? So, I don't know where we're at. Uh, we're gonna give this maybe a minute or two to see if I actually land. There's the sun. Sun doesn't appear to be moving. Um, I don't think I'm moving. I think I'm just suspended in air. Okay, well this is weird. So I've let this set for, uh, I think we've been setting for about six minutes now and nothing's happened. I don't know where I'm at. I think we legit broke the game there with that. All right, let's uh, let's head back. What the? So we teleport it back. This is the creation. Where's the, where's the ring at? Can I stand on this? Uh, unstand on this? Is it? Why am I flip? Yeah, we definitely broke something. Let, let's go ahead and stop. Now the last thing we're gonna be checking out in our weird creations episode is called the T3. Uh, it's a giant teacup mech. You know, we played with the mech the other day and it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, this, this is something else. I'm not really sure. All right, so let's go activate the T3. Oh, it's got a nice camera there. <laughs> Look at that. Why? Why is that a thing? Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and transmit. Okay, let's transmit video. Oh, you can actually uh, transmit video to like, I guess other feeds. Uh, turret stabilization on super sprint mode we probably don't want that yet uh let's maybe just try to i don't know wait this thing's got missiles oh 
Okay, well, that's a thing. Uh, maybe we should just try moving. Hold on, let's turn off the turret stabilization. Does it move now? Oh, there it goes. Uh, okay. So, might want to turn that back on. So that's stabilized. Oh, that is glorious. Dude, it like turns on a dime. Uh, the teacup turns a little before everything else and then it just kind of spins around. Uh, why is this so cute? Okay, it also does a jump. So let's go four for jump. What the? Why is this like one of the most advanced mechs in the game, yet it's a teacup? Okay, let's go ahead and deploy the guns. Uh, yep, we've got two guns out the side. Um, that's pretty amazing. What the heck? Oh, and let's go inside. What are we looking at? Uh, it's kind of firing up there. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy missiles, please. Oh, of course, the missiles are in the top. Let's go ahead and fire those. Actually, how do I fire the missiles? I guess it's just one, so let's go boom. <laughs> it's the ultimate in war technology. You've got a giant teacup. Uh, I like this. I like it a lot. Also, it's got a swim, too, so it, you can actually make this thing swim. So let's go... Super sprint mode. Let's turn that on real quick. Okay. Are we moving faster? Oh, this feels pretty fast. Uh, so let's just run off in the water here. Does it float? What? The what? Is there There's something broken? Like, how does it do that? Okay, so it goes down into this mode. Let's go to five. Oh, it's got the little rudders on it. So yeah, you can swim around in this. I think it kind of turns into a boat. Is it going to surface here? This is like one of the coolest cre- Uh, the inside's not very sealed. Is there a way to seal this off? Maybe I should be wearing like a mask or something. Uh, it feels perfect. Like, this is a great mech. Uh, I don't quite understand it. I guess it's supposed to be a joke, but I enjoy it.